Your mom, Prairie School. I hate country music so much, I wrote an award-winning country song. And I'm Bob Nenno. We'll have the story behind the tune between you and my horse, that's two nags in my life, coming up on News 4 at 6. I look forward to that half an hour from now. Any day today, but there's a rain in the forecast. Paul's in the Weather Center. He's next. And in our finishing touch, he may not be Hank Williams, but then he doesn't want to be. I mean that, well, I say, of course, to get me to stay is to hold me by force. In tonight's Finishing Touch, the story of a Sheboygan-area man who really used to hate country music. That was until he wrote a song mocking country music called Between You and My Horse, That's Two Nags in My Life. <laughs> Remember, he wrote it. It's his song. Here's Bob Nettle. Choose between the two, I guess I'll take my horse. Cause you'll never leave me or file for divorce. You ask if I'm Why did Bill well Bernico hate country music? When he was growing up, his parents used to play it all the time. I had enough of that, so I wanted to make some fun of that kind of music. So I started with long, drawn-out, goofy titles and wrote songs around them. Bernico and a friend entered some songs in an amateur songwriting contest last year. From over 45,000 entries nationwide, Two Nags in My Life won second place. After he stopped laughing, Bernico changed his tune and got serious about becoming a country music pro. Opinions eased because the music has changed, too. Country music isn't that same old nasally singing sequin suit cowboy hat kind of stuff other Bernico originals not available anywhere include every time I look at you I realize you're tall drinking beer and passing out hypochondriacs get sick too Texas is calling but my hearing aid is on the fritz and you broke my heart and my scale too now remember this was done originally as a spoof of country music but real country music fans may just get the last laugh. This song has already won one award, and if some big-name artist decides to record it, who knows? Bob Neno in Cleveland, Wisconsin, News 4. <laughs> and if you have an idea for a finishing touch, We'd like to hear from you. You can write to us at Finishing Touch, Box 444, Milwaukee 53201. He may get a sequin suit yet. <laughs>